Welcome back. 546 now on Daybreak, starting out at 36 degrees, and we are celebrating the scary side of Halloween. One Western New York haunted house has been serving up scares as an act of service. Yeah, Ever haunt inspires fun fear and also gives back to the community in the, in the process. And Daybreak's Alexandra Rios Malvia is live in Angola for us this morning. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Melissa and Pete. Yes, this morning we are celebrating Halloween and this morning we are joined with Kevin Donovan. He is with Everhaunt Haunted House and this morning in particular, we're starting off at the Delaware Creek Pumpkin Spectacular. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Thank good. you for coming. Yeah, so let's jump right into it. What yeah. are you guys doing to celebrate Halloween today? Well, what is better? to celebrate Halloween and coming to a haunted house. We're located right in the village of Angola and we will create some nightmares and a one of a kind Halloween experience for you tonight. Yeah, and then so this place right here in particular, it's all brand new to you guys. Is yeah, right? yeah, this was new this year. This is our Delaware Creek Pumpkin Spectacular with thousands of carved pumpkins, uh, giant talking characters. Uh, you know, it's just a ton of fun. The experience out here, uh, it's been our best response that we've ever gotten from some Something new people have loved it and what uh, you know what invokes the spirit of Halloween more than a jack-o-lantern so that's why we have the butt Delaware Creek Pumpkin Spectacular <laughs> yeah Kevin and we were talking a moment ago that this all kind of started 10 years ago it did yeah we started out of my house uh, we were uh, we did a Halloween party for a friend fighting cancer and um, it's grown and grown and we traveled 170,000 miles around the country to pick up props and learn from some of the best in the country and we created this one of a kind Halloween experience uh, that, you know, just to invoke the spirit of Halloween. Yeah, and you also mentioned that you guys got a pretty big award from all of this with years of experience. Tell yeah, me about that. Yeah, just <laughs> just last week, uh, an article came out that put us the 12th best haunted house in the nation. Uh, so to come from a little Halloween party uh, for a friend fighting cancer to uh, to this, it, we were really excited about. But also always keeping that community aspect in mind and always giving back and trying to help out our local communities. Yeah, so, no, thank you yeah. so much, Kevin. And coming up, we'll talk just <laughs> that so we have how this isn't just a haunted house there's much more here and especially the part that he mentioned that they are always looking for ways to give back to the community in a positive way and we'll talk about that exactly coming up in the next hour but for now on